Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday the 17th of October. The local media headlines today. A government planning inspector has turned down a housing scheme near Rock where 60% of the homes would have been affordable. Now, leaving aside the minor detail that when we say affordable in Cornwall, we don't really mean affordable at all, the proposal does crystallise the difficulties of getting planning permission on the outskirts of rural settlements. Cornwall Reports also had a couple of amusing tales, one about not-quite-super-fit footballers in Hale who have to be over 12 stone just to get on the pitch, and one about a couple of Cornwall councillors who disputed a meeting date via email in front of the entire council. Pirate FM had a story about the sorts of weapons which local schoolchildren have been bringing into class. In one case, a 14-year-old brought a sword. Others in Devon and Cornwall had a BB gun and a corkscrew. Full marks to the BBC for finding out why Thomas Cook aeroplanes are parked at Newquay Airport. They're currently being maintained and stored while the future of the company is decided. The Cornish Times congratulated the Eden Project on becoming a bee reserve. The Cornish and Devon Post was there to record the Launceston Carnival. And finally, Cornwall Live is encouraging parents to book a trip to Santa's Grotto, three months in advance. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.